Welcome to a cool, crisp autumnal day here in East Lothian. This is White Sands. It's another of those secret, almost hidden beaches in East Lothian. But today I'm not specifically looking for a beach adventure. Today I'm looking for a lighthouse. The lighthouse I'm looking for today is called Barn Ness Lighthouse, and it's just over the headland up ahead. Having just come back from Tenerife, where of course we explored some amazing beaches, I am of course reminded that here in East Lothian, we also have some incredible beaches to walk along. What we don't have here is the guaranteed weather, of course. I've never been here before and I love it when you've just really got to follow your feet and see what you can find. There's some cement workings just inland from here. Just look at the way the light from the sun is playing upon the smoke from that chimney. Let's just walk a little bit further along the cliff top and get a look at the lighthouse from a distance. We are about five miles south of Dunbar. So Dunbar's that way and this is where we're heading. We're heading right over there to Barn Ness Lighthouse. There on the other headland beyond the lighthouse, that's the Scottish borders, and finally into England and Newcastle beyond. Well, we're getting a bit closer to the lighthouse now. I'm just wondering, do you think that lighthouses are scary? I think they're scary. Maybe I've seen too many movies, scary movies, about lighthouses. And you know, back in the 70s, there was a really good episode of Doctor Who starring Tom Baker called The Horror of Fang Rock. I remember it scaring me witless when I was a child. So maybe that's why I find lighthouses a bit scary. The thing about this lighthouse is it now acts as a holiday cottage. I believe it has five bedrooms, two conservatories, two bathrooms and a sitting area and kitchen. I imagine in the summer when it's really hot, it could be quite a romantic place to stay. As long as of course you're not one of those people like me who finds lighthouses scary. <laughs> Let's take a walk around the lighthouse. And as I've come around the corner, I can see right there in the distance, Torness Nuclear Power Station. It's a shame it looks so ugly on an otherwise beautiful coastline. So if you want beautiful views, just look the other way. Ignore the nuclear power station, take in the East Lothian coastline. Okay, let's go and have a sneaky peek at the holiday cottage. Because we only live about 15 miles away from here, I guess we've never thought of coming and staying a night in somewhere like this, somewhere unique. 
maybe it should be a Valentine's treat in the future. Would you stay in a place like this, even if it was only within a very short drive of your home? Certainly, if you look on one of the cottage booking websites, you'll find that it's booked out for many weeks into the future. And the photographs of the interior suggest that it's a very comfy place to stay. Yeah, if I did stay here, if we did stay here, it would have to be in the summer. I can't shake off the images of all those scary movies about lighthouses. They always have wind-lashed rocks and driving rain. And just imagine being here in the winter in those conditions. Definitely, definitely scary. As far as I'm aware, you're not actually allowed to climb up to the top of the lighthouse. In fact, you can't actually go into the lighthouse building at all. In Scotland, all the lighthouses are controlled automatically from a control centre in Edinburgh. So unless maintenance is needed, there aren't even any humans operating these things anymore. And sadly, this lighthouse has been decommissioned anyway. What a shame. Oh, do you know, I could murder a cup of coffee. I should have brought a flask with me. If you ever did decide to stay here at Barn Nest Cottages, you'd have to bring everything with you. There's not a shop for miles or miles around. Not even a coffee shop, not even a burger van. We really are sort of out in the wilds here. But you know what? It's gorgeous. If you enjoyed this episode of Rog Vlog, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, it doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Until the next video, remember, there's always something to see. So get out there and find it. Light.